Well, hello there. This is Mabel's Tables, and I have a haul for you from a Dollar Tree. And after the Dollar Tree haul, I have a small DIY that I would like to share with you, and I'm going to set it up to let you see how I set up this uh, DIY that I'm going to make. So please, stay tuned and watch and see what I do. Okay, now, here we go with the haul. Okay, now, here we go with the haul. Now, from Dollar Tree, I hauled these flowers. I found them in the back of Dollar Tree because, you know, these colors here, uh, they usually have these for summer, and I needed some colors like these to for the fall as well. But I found these, so I uh, haul these right here, okay? So I got these from the back. I think they might have been just putting them away for another time, but they were just laying back there, and these are exactly what I needed. So I got those. And I also, it was, uh, they were putting out the Christmas uh, things from, from um, Dollar Tree, and I found these cookie boxes cookie and cake boxes, and you know, I love to make faux foods and faux cakes, you know, and things like that, so I got these so I could put my um, DIYs in that I make for the holiday, and this is what it looks like. Um, it came in a package like this, and it looks like this. I'm going to open one up, and, and I think it's real pretty. I can get it folded out right. I'm going to get it uh, folded out and, so you can see it. Well, it keeps trying to... I'm doing one thing and it's doing something else. But we're going to get this bad boy. There you go. And this is what it looks like. Now, isn't that pretty? And, you know, you can put real baked goods in here as well. But, you know, you got, just got that uh, folded out on the crease so that it'll look better. So, I got a pack of these. They were just putting this stuff out when I was there. So, I have a video. Please go and view my video. It's a very small video, not long, because they didn't have a lot out. So, I just videotaped what I saw them out. Again, this is Mabel's Tables. That's who I am. And I'm asking you to pray for others. It looks bad out here, y'all. But prayer, bring it out. What did the Word of God say? Prayer goes up. And what comes down? Blessings comes down. That's it. And also remember... Who world is this? I don't care how bad or bleak it look. look this is who world? God's. God's. All right. So let's continue with that. And I got um two packages of these uh for from the Dollar Tree. And it has the uh the red truck on it and the poinsettia. These are just bags, a square cookie bag that you can use to put your uh DIY faux food, a real faux, a real food in, and and I I thought I saw these. These are so cute. It's so many ways that you can use these besides being ornaments, y'all. This is so pretty. You can make a nice, beautiful cake for your children, and they only come in different colors as well. So you can make uh. A cake for your children or make a cake just for someone that you know. Just make a cake for them as well. And I got three of them. I got the one in the red and the pink and the green. These are some beautiful ornaments. All you got to do is just take that string off of there and unscrew that off. This comes off. Let's see. You have to get a... um. Get a pair of pliers and twist that off and it'll come out of there. Okay. Yes. 
and I'm going to put that back in this bag, and I found these there, too. And I just wanted to share something else with you, too, that uh, I don't know whether you, um, I found this, and I just found it in the Dollar Tree bag, but it's not from Dollar Tree. I know it's not. But I remember this glitter from a uh, Hobby Lobby. Uh, that glitter they had at Hobby Lobby, Lobby it was 49% off. No, it wasn't. I'm lying. It was 50% off. And this glitter was $349. So that made me pay, uh, say, $175 for this glitter. Uh, the girl rang up $174 for this glitter. And I, I was so glad to get this for $174. You can't get this at, at um, Walmart or anywhere for $1.74. Okay, now let me go on and let me go on and sh show you. I got some pop dot tapes. You know when you want something to just sit in place, you take this, this tape and take your little piece off. And so you can have the thing to sit where you want it to sit. Like if you're making a tray, if you're making a, a, a tear tray, you can take a piece of this tape. Tear it off and put it down and then put what you want to stay on the tray on there and it'll stick to that and stick to the tray too. This is a pop dot, see, pop dot tape. Take your little piece off, stick it to where you want on the tray, pull the paper off the top of it and put whatever you want stuck on that tray to stay there so it will stay there. Okay, and I got that from the Dollar Tree. And I had to have some more cable ties. I got that cable ties as well. And you know what I found? I know I know everyone's going to like this because this we look for things like this uh, so uh, we don't have to pay a whole lot of money for it. But look at what I found at the Dollar Tree, y'all. Go leafing. It's like big chunks of um, jumbo glitter. But if you use your head, you can use it as gold leafing. And let me show you how big it is. I'm going to put a piece on my back of me. Look at that. See? And you can use And I found that in this bottle from Dollar Tree. See? And I also found um, this one. Thought I had another one. I guess I did. Oh, yes, I did. Look. They had the blue one. And they had the champagne color. And they had the pink color. But these were the only two that was left. I know they had the champagne and the pink because I saw somebody check out with it. <laughs> and um, I got some... Um, metallic pony beads but you know you can use these to go around your faux cakes and your all your four christmas decorations and also for your fall decorations as well and valentine day's coming up after christmas and whatever so you'll have that and then i found um the fabric paint or the puffy paint and i got one in yellow and one in red the puffy paint and I also had to have some more pink paint because I'm doing things in pink now. So I wanted to make sure I had the pink paint. All this come from the Dollar Tree. And also, if you look here, I got this lace, crochet lace, because I have some teddy bears and I want to decorate my teddy bears. And I got this lace to go around uh, their head and their little arms and feet because I'm going to make them look like gingerbread men and I will be coming back and showing you that as well. So right now, that's all I have for um, Dollar Tree. So I'm going to get to to what I'm going to be doing with this, with the glitter and with the chunk glitter that I call diamond um, uh, gold wrap. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. Now I have these two little teapots right here. 
And I spray painted these teapots because they're not usable. They're just for sitting up. Uh, and you can use them if you're going to put something like sugar cubes in a plastic bag or something in them. Uh, but once you spray paint them, I don't think you should use them. That's my uh, thing because you don't want to be pouring out uh, chemicals. Uh, so this is just for decoration purposes only. So I'm going to decorate these two with this glitter and with this. So if you just come on along with me, and once I get them all decorated, then I'm going to uh, showcase them on a tear tray and let you see how they look on a tear tray. Okay, so let's get started. What you need with that is a brush and Mod Podge. And that is all. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to set that to the side. Because, y'all, I like to save all my glitter. I don't know about you, but when I'm doing glitter work, I don't want to lose not one little ounce of glitter. Okay? And I like to save all my glitter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this paper that I got right here, and I'm going to tear it in half. I'm just going to tear this paper in half. And sorry if it's getting on your nerve, but I got to tear the paper in half, okay? Let's not be silly about sounds because sounds are all over the world. And I'm tearing it in half again. So I'm going to put this half down here because first I'm going to work with the um, pink glitter that I got from Hobby Lobby. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this. And take that thing out of there, if I can get it out. There it goes. And punch the hole through. Do, do, do. I got to punch that open. Okay. I'm trying to get that open there. Wait a minute. Well, anyway, I can shake it out. I'm not going to go through all that getting myself upset with that. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to take me some Mod Podge and my brush. Now, I'm doing this kind of fast. Now, we, you're going to have to let yours uh, dry. Uh, but I'm just going to do mine so you can see what I'm doing, and you have to do yours later. Spray your little pots that you're not going to use just for decoration purposes only, and just take a little Mod Podge and put all across there like this. See? All over there like that. And put it there. Okay? Put it all over there. And I put my brush across there. And what I'm going to do is take this and just sprinkle it on here like this. No rhyme or reason. Just sprinkle it. Okay? Just yeah, sprinkle it. And then you hold it under here and shake it off. No rhyme or reason. There you go. And shake it off. And I'm going to set that one right there. Okay, now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do here. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Like all around here and here and here. I'm going to hold it by the handle and we're going to go here too as well. And right here. Not a lot. You don't need a lot because it's. Uh, we're trying to do this so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Put this here, and we're just gonna take this and go all the way around it. Shake it all the way around it. Shake it all the way around it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Just so it uh, sticks on there, okay? And I'm just going to go on the inside of here, shake that out, and then I'm going to tap it like that. And you see how that's glittering? Okay? I need a little more right here. A little more Mod Podge right there. 
and I'm going to, that fell off, I'm going to put some glitter right there too, as well. Make sure I got enough in there and tap it again. Okay, see that? And this is how that looks right now. Okay, I'm going to set that right there and I'm going to take my glitter and I'm going to pour it back into my container so I don't want to lose no glitter. These things cost a lot of money. When you use a lot of them, they cost a lot of money. And you try to save as much as you can on your supplies. Now I'm going to turn this over this way. Put the top back on it so it won't waste out. And this is what I want to do with the bottom half. I'm going to take my Mod Podge, put it here, go all around here. And it doesn't matter if it gets uh, sloppy or whatever. We're just trying to get some gold on here some kind of way. There you go. And do this. And you can lay that down that way or either hold it by the handle. You're going to take the little gold ones now, the chunky ones, and you're going to put it on the bottom. There you go. Okay, there you go. And you see how that's turned out? You want the chunky ones on the bottom, okay? And just hit the bottom. Okay, and we're going to set that right there. And you see how that looks? Get that off. This is the way you want that little uh, teapot to look. Okay, now I'm going to go away and do the other teapot. And when I come back, I'm going to show you how I got everything set up. Now, once you get through with this and it dries, you put another layer of Mod Podge on top of this to make sure that it's good. Put another layer, just dab it like this. You don't have to just, just hit it with a little bit Mod Podge to make it um. Uh, make sure it sticks okay so i'm gonna go away and do this pot right here and then i'll be back okay okay i'm back and i'm going to show you how i showcase those uh teacups and the using the chunk glitter or as i call it um uh, gold layering i'm going to show you how everything you look after using this glitter and the pink glitter so i got my um tear tray here and my tear tray has an angel underneath of it as right there if you could see my tear tray and i have an old gold charger down here that i made this tear tray with some time ago this tear tray is also a DIY and let me show you uh, my tear tray there it is okay so on top of my tear tray I did this pumpkin and it is covered with the ball that I hauled and I have a video on that haul and I use one of the dusters from the Dollar Tree to make this and I'm gonna sit this right here on top of that okay and on top of that i have some faux cupcakes with pink flowers on it and i'm going to set these around here let me get that straight and i'm going to set one here and i'm going to do one here and one on this side in the back and one on this side so it looks like this got it okay and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to put my towels right here these are diy as well and i'm going to set them right there on the tray and i'm going to set this one 
right here on the tray as well. It is a DIY as well. And that B is my last name, initial. And I'm going to set it there. And I'm going to let it hang down just a little bit. Uh, right here. And I'm going to take my teapots that I just decorated. And I'm going to set them right there. My little gold and pink teapots that I decorated. And I'm going to take the other one and set it on this side. Right there. That's my little gold sparkly teacups. And I have my teacups here. My tea set there. And I'm going to put it right here on that side. And I'm going to take the other T set and put it on this side, okay? And in front of my teapots, I'm going to set them so you can see them. And let me move it back so you can see the teapots as well. There you go. There they are. And here I have some faux cookies in a box, in a cookie box that I hauled from Dollar Tree some months ago. And I'm gonna put these right there in front. So now, this is what my finished product look like. This is my finished tea, teapot here. And let me move it so you can see what it looks like. This is what it looks like once I finished it. And I'm gonna put it here. And here's the other one that I finished. Here you go. Aren't they beautiful? This is what I used with some of the items from the haul from Dollar Tree. This is Mabel's Table saying, I thank you so very much for watching. And if you feel like giving me a thumbs up, or uh, subscribing, I would mostly appreciate it only if you feel like it because I know some days we don't feel like doing anything but looking and, and skipping on to the next video. And remember, this is God's world. No matter what happens, this world still belongs to God. No matter what anybody say or how they do or how they act. And don't forget to pray for others because that's what brings blessings to you when you pray for others. This is Mabel's Table saying, I pray that you like what you see, bringing you up for a closer look. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to move that to the side a little bit. There is the little teapot there. And here's the little teapot here. And here are the cups here. Okay? You have a blessed and glorious day. Remember, prayer is everything. And there's nothing in this world that you can't do without God. Because this is God's world. Mabel's Table saying, do, And God bless you. Pray for others. Ah, do.